Hey, welcome back. We have either a knife or some knives. If this is what I think it is, this should be a pretty fun one. But I'm not 100% sure. So let's carefully get this massive package opened up. I'm going to do uh, do this duty over here off screen just because it's really packed in there. And I don't want to cut something I shouldn't. But let me tell you, even though you can't see it right now, this Dumco, I strapped it today. And man, that edge is... Uh, just flying right through this packaging loving it loving it got to maintain your edge if it's a user knife don't be afraid to sharpen it i know for like reselling stuff you don't want to sharpen your knives but man if you're using your knife and you're not sharpening it like we just uh, replaced the batteries in our electric pepper salt and pepper shaker and man it went from feeling like the thing could barely grind the salt and pepper to uh, ripping through it. And it's just something nice about your stuff working and doing its job how it should. So, you know, I, I'm i not the one to watch Neve's Knives or something like that if you want some how-to videos. But I do do some, I'm starting to do some like sharpening videos just, you know, showing that I'm doing it kind of stuff. And I've been restoring some of my old cheap knives from phase two of my collection when I was buying cheap knives from Big Five. And that has been a lot of fun. Okay, yeah, cool. So this is what I thought it was. And this is very exciting because this is my first uh, Spartan Harsey here. Um, so that's going to be an exciting one. So we'll get into that in a second. And we got a Chris Reeve. So I saw someone doing kind of an end of year sale or whatever. Um, and they had a couple of these and I had seen this small and cozy and I was curious if I might like it more than my small Sabenza and then move my Sabenza on or something. Um, so let me take a look at this first because I've done enough content on Chris Reeve. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. This is a newer one mid-year this year s45 vn i think it's a user if i recall i'm pretty sure this was a user i think the guy I got this from pretty much looked like he used all of his knives it's so funny these little chris reeve are just so tiny and like almost like shockingly tiny when you get them out uh let's let's see how this uh how this guy feels here that is a funny little tanto blade that is very funny is even sharpened? God, they do do a nice little edge on their on their knives. Um, let's see if I can grab a little something to get them clean. They do put a nice little edge on their knives. Let's see. This one, I think Ben used a tiny bit. If I had to guess, I'll have to go double check, but I'm pretty sure it was a user. You can kind of tell from like the wear on there, but you never really know. See how the centering is here. It looks pretty good. The knife looks in good shape overall. If someone really used a Chris Reeve, you're going to see a lot of snail trails on here. This looks like it was barely, eh, you got a little bit on the clip for sure. It was carried, but it's not bad, right? This thing does not look uh, like a heavy user. Now this one has a... Uh, the dual thumb stud and i'm kind of curious if i can reverse flick this thing open i don't think so you like really can't get in there it's not made for that i don't even really know why they put a second thumb stud on this knife if it's gonna not have any access like that it's kind of funny it's such a tiny little knife i gotta say i do like it more than my uh small sabenza my small sabenza just feels like a very insignificant, I don't know what the right term is, unimpressive knife. And just having the Tanto alone on this, it, it makes it pretty cool. And I have another Incozy Tanto, so like that'd make my two Chris Reeves kind of match up. I may let my uh, Sabenza 31 go. I got it new, so it's, you know, doesn't need to go anywhere. It's not like these things are dropping in value. But mm, these boxes are pretty big, so I might just do it to free up space. So anyways, cool, nice little knife, looks good. Let's uh, let's jump into the Spartan because it's one of the 
Spartan and Strider are two of the ones that I have not been able to get. I've, I've got a bunch of other like brown and other knives that have come in lately to try and further and expand some of what I'm doing videos on. Um, and just because I wanted to collect them and see what they're about. These are well-known brands for a reason. Um, <clears throat> but this is one I probably know less about than the others and had a little less exposure to. So this is the uh, 3.25, so it's a little smaller than, you know, they, they make this in a bigger version also. Oh, you know what? I think there may be more than one knife in here. What did I do? Did I buy... What's going on here? Oh, yeah, yeah, I bought three knives from this guy. <laughs> I forgot this one didn't come with a box. Um, that's a funny one. Little uh, spider coat here. I don't know if this thing can be flicked out. I think it's more of one of these. Uh... It's a cool little variant, though, from Spider Co. Um, so it was a factory second. The scales on this feel great. They do a really nice job with their uh, with their G10. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty sweet. Sorry, I'm not even putting this on the screen. Pretty sweet blade steel there. Little Spider Co. God, they do a amazing factory edge also. Yeah, that's. I think this is a double wide, but that one's a lot sharper than the Chris Reeve was, or at least it's a lot slicier, let's say that. Um, it's a funny little knife. I don't even think I realized that this thing didn't have a lock, that it was a, uh, a uh, I guess you call it a slip joint or something? I don't even know what you call this knife. I actually can't even remember the, the <laughs> I can't remember the name of this particular variant. Uh, of a spider co. I, I don't, I have some spider co's, like maybe four or five of them, but they're not like my strong area. That rolls out quite nicely, actually. Um, not that I should expect any different. This is a nice little knife. This is actually a really cool little EEC knife. Um, and obviously, I prefer a locking mechanism, but that felt really good there. What did I do here? Got that little, that little paper on there from the envelope. That that felt really good on the finger roll. Wow, that's nice. Decent lock up there. It's not perfect, but it's decent. Um, it's a cool little knife. Um, all right, let's jump into the Spartan. Again, this is the 3.25, so they do make these bigger. Um, these Harseys are definitely known for being the bigger variants, but this was the one that made itself available. So, that's a sweet little knife. That's a nice little knife. It's not super comfortable in hand. There's a little hot spottiness on it, but, you know, having just handled a Chris Reeve, in a lot of ways, I like this more. A lot easier to roll out, I can tell you that. I wonder if this thing can, there you go, check that out. It's it's an interesting mix of like a Chris Reeve and a, I'm trying to think of another knife this reminds me of. Spider Co. The feeling of it, yeah, I guess maybe Spyderco. Spyderco are on washers, aren't they? Or, yeah, they're on washers, not bearings, I think. Keep me honest. Comment in the comments there. I've never taken my Spydercos apart. I've never carried any of my Spydercos, so I actually have never serviced them and don't know a lot about them. I, you know, I made a whole video on the fact that as a collector, I'm a rare collector that's getting, like, into the first Spydercos and did a whole unboxing video on my first Spydercos. This is really nice though. I gotta say, I'm I'm really impressed. I feel like you have a lot less deployment challenges and like, oh, that's what it is. It feels like a mix of a Chris Reeve and a Hinderer. Maybe a, yeah, Chris Reeve and a Hinderer. 
that's that's what it's reminding me of but less deployment issues than the other two like the other two i have to be really careful not to lock stick myself by pushing on the frame lock and this one feels a lot less likely to have that happen which is nice let's get this guy wiped down a little bit here this one's in nice condition too I wasn't quite sure what to expect on the condition of this one. I can't remember if the condition of this one was, had that it had been carried, but it, it looks like it has at least been handled, but I'm not sure about carried. It's S45VN, which is really nice. Let's see what else it'll tell us here. 3.25, Harsey stone washed. Made in North Carolina. Nice knife. I think these go for 400 new. I think they're about 400 bucks new. But, you know, again, like most USA made titanium frame knives, like that's if you can get your hands on one. But that's a cool way to do the uh, the cover there. So when, you know, basically because it's a reversible pocket clip, they put in like a little in inlay uh, instead of having like just open holes like a lot of the brands do. Uh, let's see if I have an example of that over here. 